don't miss any content don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell hey guys welcome back to sahara football as usual i am your host salas ipiaro today we're going to talk about why coach kwesi apia has still not yet been paid by the ghana fa i brought you a story to that effect last weekend i talked about coach kwesi apia who had his contract extended by five months because the afcon was held in the summer that's june and july instead of january where his contract would have ended in april of 2019 his contract expired after that extension ended on the 31st of december 2019 until now he hasn't been paid his arrears in excess of 180 thousand dollars we'll finally get to know the real reason why he has not been paid we'll talk about the puma deal it has been extended by the ghana fa for a further four years i brought you a story also talking about the reduction in their monetary benefits from the puma deal by 30 percent by this four-year deal i'll be telling you what it entails entirely we're also going to talk about Ghanaian player jeffrey schlup and also jeffrey schlup's possible move to aston villa from his current club crystal palace remember he was injured before the covid 19 pandemic brought about a whole lot of issues and we clearly don't know when football will get back on his feet so i'll be giving you more details on that as well as usual if you're new to the channel i advise you to subscribe to the channel and to click on the notification bell to get more updates so i'll start off from the camp of coach kosiapia we all know coach kosiapia coach the black stars in two stints 2014 the first one ended in 2017 hitherto he had been assistant manager for most of the other black stars coaches and learning under them after learning earning his coaching badges outside the country in the uk now coach kosiapia in the light of AFCON 2019 disappointment his contract with the Ghana Black Stars was not renewed and he had to be sacked because in the conditions of the FA before the contract renewal he was told that he has to win the African Cup of Nations and that was a clause in his contract he didn't win that clearly eliminated in the round of 16 of the African Cup of Nations now the contract says that he would be paid thirty five thousand dollars a month and ten thousand dollars winning bonus and that has not been forthcoming in recent times he has held complaints through his lawyer friend who wrote to the FA and now he has also written another letter to the FA personally himself the next cause of asking for coach Kwesi Apia is that he will go to fifa and drag the fa in front of fifa and possibly that would be the last resort and that would be where he gets his money but the real reason why coach kusia pia has not been paid is a wonder to many people but some clarity has been brought to the issue now this week former black stars coach made the headline suggesting that the fa owed him several months of wages and bonuses which were not paid him before he exited the job now the former head coach was, was not paid salaries and bonuses due him for the last five months that's august to december 2019 before his reign ended and siki akono took over the helm it's in excess of 185,000 now the fa's communication director harry asante chum said the outfit does not pay the coach by the state and as such they have forwarded his grievances to them in a recent interview with bbc he said in ghana the state has always paid the coach and not the gfa this has been the practice for several decades and nothing and nothing new now the gfa forwarded kusiapia's letter to the ministry of youth and sports so they are working on it for now i cannot say any more now the embattled coach this week revealed in an interview that he has had to harbor his bitter experience with them as he's unable to feed his family he remains to be seen if the sports ministry will pay the former coach his arrears in order for the waters to come down. so that is it there you heard it clearly it's, it's not the fa that pays the ghana black stars coach and it's actually the the Ga ministry of youth and sports but he signed the agreement with the fa why should the ministry of youth and sports now be where he seeks recourse and even if that is the case since he has signed the contract with the gfa the gfa have to seek recourse on his behalf through the ministry of youth and sports maybe that's what they are doing by forwarding the letter to 
the Ministry of Youth and Sports. But I don't think the mention of the Ministry of Youth and Sports should come in here. The GFA should make the, the, the necessary movements for Coach Kusiapia and pay him the money due him. This has gone on for too long and it's, it's getting quite embarrassing in all honesty. The man has fulfilled his contractual agreement to the Ghana FA. Pay him his money. It's as simple as that. I move on to my next story. It has to do with a new Puma deal that the Ghana Black Stars and Ghana Football Association has signed for the Ghana Black Stars and the national teams. Now we all know Puma has been our sponsor for a while now and Ghana had their recent renewal. In their recent renewal, they had their monetary benefits slashed by 30%. Now they've signed a new four-year deal with Puma and I'll be giving you details about what that new contract entails. Now a new sponsorship deal has been signed for four years and the German kit manufacturers have yet again reached a successful agreement for an extension valid for years. Nana Udru Safo said, a council member of the GFA. Now the deal was signed in 2019, which will see the German kit manufacturer, supplier and official partner of the GFA for the next four years. Puma will continue to sp supply playing kits, training apparel and equipment to all associated Ghana national football teams. In a recent interview, the EXCO member revealed that the kit manufacturer's long-standing relationship, commitment and loyalty to the country amongst other variables were contributory factors to why they are still in partnership. We have renewed our partnership with Puma during the era of the normalization committee. The figures have changed a little because of the expose, because of sales, because of popularity, but we, the new FA administration, have been there to speak to them and we will see how we can come back to the level we used to be. The FA and Puma has enjoyed a long relationship since back in 2005. As it stands, the football is currently suspended all across the world, interim's efforts to mitigate the widespread of the coronavirus. Now, Ghana had been built to play the doubleheader with Sudan until the virus brought that to a halt. So, Puma's new deal will run for four more years to 2023, and the monetary benefits has really dwindled by 30%. But the new FA are hoping that they can get it back to the normal levels let's see what they can do in light of that let's move on to my next story it has to a Ghanaian player Jeffrey Schlupp he is likely on his way out of Crystal Palace to Aston Villa remember Jeffrey Schlupp won the English Premier League with Leicester City in 2016 a fairy tale moment for him as a player and he moved on to Crystal Palace following that not getting enough first team playing time and now he said to leave Crystal Palace and move on to Aston Villa. Now the Ghana International is on the radar of Aston Villa for the summer window transfer if they maintain their Premier League status. Versatile Crystal Palace star who has just one year left on his contract is one of the seven footballers on the wanted list for Villa boss Sean Dean with the others being Isaac Hayden Pierre Poet Emil Hoiberg, Robert Snodgrass, and Christian Benteke. Now, the Schlopp's agreement with the Eagles expires on June 30th, 2021. But with the calendar all in haywire, it looks uncertain when it will actually end, whether it will be it will have to they will have to conclude the season before that ends. No negotiation has started yet for renewal, which means he could be allowed to move if he comes up with a good offer in the next transfer window. In spite of a season blight pet by injuries, Schlopp made 14 EPL appearances scoring twice, providing two assists as the London club sit 11th on the log with 39 points from 29 games. Currently, Schlopp is on a £56,000 a week deal at Crystal Palace and from all indications, that could be the only obstacle to the move to Villa Park in June. Schlopp, 27 years old, won the Premiership with Leicester City in 2016. The talented Ghanaian, who can be deployed as a striker, left back, as well as a left winger, has his transfer fee now pegged at eight million pounds. So Jeffrey Schlopp, on his way out of Crystal Palace, he is set to move to Aston Villa. A great move for him. What do you think about that move from Jeffrey Schlopp? Let me know your thoughts in the comments box i've been talking to you about 
why coach Chris Appiah has not been paid yet by the FA apparently is the Ministry of Youth and Sports at the government that has to pay him all those money. Also, I've talked to you about the new Puma deal four year extension by the Ghana FA. It has dropped by 30% and they are looking to raise it up by a feather to that same level that it used to be. That has been it for today. Jeffrey Schlopp out of Crystal Palace into Aston Villa. Let me know your thoughts on everything. Stay safe, stay at home, and we will pull through this one as well. Enjoy your day.